Today we are going to talk about a brand new screen used for finding items called Item Search. Now the current search screens used for finding items have been around for over six years and don't necessarily meet the needs of the business today. Business and technical resources have worked hard to bring you this exciting, new, performance enhanced screen. So let's get started. You can find Item Search in the Product Acquisition menu under the Item Header. So first we have the Search text box, which looks for matches using nine separate fields including sales description, brand name, item code, vendor item code, and more. You may enter alpha or numeric text. Words can be entered in any order for your results to return. For example, typing in honey mustard dressing will find items where the sales description is dressing honey mustard. Now you may also notice abbreviations no longer have to be used. You can enter the whole word and still find a match. For example, honey equals HNY, or continue to use our abbreviations. Both these particular enhancements should really improve your search results and reduce frustrations with our current search screens. And I would also suggest that you continue to add additional text to the search box to help refine your results and return the exact items you're looking for. Let's look at the ship DC next. Now the drop down box will contain all of our current active GFS ship DCs. So let's click on Plant City which reduces our number of results from 20 to 8 and displays only items available in Plant City. You also notice additional columns on a ship DC is selected such as lead days and available for sale. Next is customer number. Similar to our current search screens you can enter a 9 digit customer number or click on the magnifying glass to search for one using the name. If you use the magnifying glass and click on the customer you want it will automatically fill in the field for you. When you do this, you also notice the primary ship DC for that customer automatically gets applied and an additional column for customer price will now show the price for that specific customer. Now there are a couple of things I'd like to point out with the search results. First, the default rows per page is 25. You click on the drop down box to alter that value, although I would suggest to keep it low for optimal performance. Next is column sorting. Clicking on the header columns such as item code, sales description, or subgroup, sort them by ascending or descending order. One of the features I'm really excited about is a quick links option. Click at the icon on the left of each row will bring up a small pop-up window which displays screens you may have access to, such as inventory, logistics, market info, and ship DCs. Just click on one of those links and a new window or tab will bring you directly to that screen. Once you're done, you may close the window or tab and return to item search. Click away from the quick links box or hit escape to return to your results. Now another great feature is our pop-up window, which displays detailed information about each item. Just click on any row of an item you're viewing and a pop-up will display to show you additional information about the product. Features such as our new taxonomy listing, purchase order info, and vendor data will be displayed. This will save you time from having to navigate to other screens. As a reminder though, the number of fields shown in the pop-up will change depending on if you have a ship DC or customer number entered. Click away from the pop-up or hit escape to return to your results. Now I'm going to hit the clear button to remove our current search results. Now as you can see we have a box called advanced filters. By default this box will contain items in active status, new, active and discontinued, along with stock items. However, there are many other fields that we use in conjunction with the search text box or as a standalone option. Let's click on the advanced filters link to see what's available. Product type allows you to choose one of our GFS product types such as grocery. Once you select a product type then the product subgroups related to that product type will be displayed. Let's choose canned fruits. Once you press search then all products within the grocery canned fruit subgroup will be displayed. Adding an apricot to the search text box will further refine your search. Let's go back to the advanced filters and see what else is there. Next is product group, class, and subclass, which is our newly created item taxonomy. Private brand and brand name. Now the old find items screen only allows for searching on private brand. This new screen additionally allows for searching on brand name. 
Once they're typing in the brand name, options will appear to help with your selection. You may type the complete brand name or select the option once you have found what you're looking for. Item status includes additional options to return those in build or delete. If you want to go back to just the active status is there listed, just click on the only active link. Stock types include the additional options of non-stock, special orders, and DSD, marketplace direct store delivery. If available, you may also include the restricted controlled items. Now, if you'd like to see items from a certain vendor, you can enter a six-digit vendor number, press tab, and a drop-down box will display all available locations, or just choose at the master vendor number level. If you're not sure of the vendor number, a lookup vendor link is also available for you to use. And finally, you can check out the last box here to find items that are available in all of our Marketplace stores called Marketplace Signature Items. Now once you're done with the Advanced Filters box, you may click on Search or Cancel to return your search results. Now, no records found because we don't have any apricots that we get from Tyson. So let's update our filters. Now instead of going to the Advanced Filters link, we can click on the labels that you see displayed here. With one quick click on the X, you can remove one of the Advanced Filters or click on the label to directly alter it without having to pull up all the advanced filters. Let's remove a few of them and see what happens. Each time we remove, we'll fire off another search. Now let's say I wanted to see all the apricots that are also non-stock. Click on the label that you want to change. Click on the selection you'd like, like non-stock. Press search. And now I find all the stock and non-stock items that have apricot in them. Quick and easy. Now one of the additional benefits of this screen is that your previous search results will be saved throughout your browser session, even if you exit it out of the application. This enables efficiency. So that concludes our GFS application training video, which is a part of the core data series produced by Purchasing Operations. Hopefully you found this video informative and helpful. We are very excited about this new item search screen with the robust features we talked about today along with the speed of the application, which quickly returns your results. Any questions regarding the screen may be answered by using the help link at the bottom of the page or send an email to item at gfs.com. Thank you.